My name is John McKeon, and I'm the moderator of the Teradata Primo River community, Teradata and Primo's largest customer community. You can connect with us at teradatariver2.com. Today, we'd like to welcome David Cavuto, Director of Federal Product Engineering at Naris Inc., which is a solely owned subsidiary of Boeing. They do some really cool stuff, particularly around big data and security. David will be speaking at this year's Partners Conference. It is called Next Generation Cyber Intelligence, Deep Analytics on Big IP Data. Should be a really interesting session. David, this is a really, really interesting topic about big data and big security. And I think as you talk about, there is an intersection between big data and security. What is the definition of big security, if you will? Thanks, John. Well, really, big security is, I think, a moniker coined recognizing the growing trouble of addressing security on today's larger high-speed data networks. I think that folks have been in IT for a while have seen data networks grow really exponentially over the past 5 to 10 years, even 15 years, going from small ethernets with very, very low-speed Internet connections to real high-speed data access, wireless access, WAN access, ubiquitously across their entire organizations. And it used to be that a few monitoring points were really enough to catch any sort of intrusion and a few choke points were really where you wanted to be to look at at monitoring your network. But now the networks are so big, so fast, and so wide that attempting to monitor those networks becomes an exercise in big data in and of itself. You're looking at 1 gig or 10 gigabit networks that are running 30, 40, 50, 60% utilization, and you're generating literally hundreds of millions or billions of events a day. That's not the sort of thing that you'd want to throw into your average small relational database. So I think network administrators are becoming frustrated with the lack of tools designed to address data at this volume, to address security incidents and security response, as well as simple general network analytics for networks that are operating at this speed and at this rate. Essentially, we're turning towards tools that are traditional big data tools that may have looked like overkill maybe five years ago to be applied to this problem, but now are truly the right tool for the job. David, now we're talking about exabytes of data, just crazy amounts of data. And I guess there's some magic that Norris does with his technology. Give me a little insight into how you handle the bytes, the packets, the, the metadata to really create a condensed version that really can handle data and data security at this scale. Sure. A Norris's secret sauce, if you will, is the way that we take application layer conversations on the network and really extract from them the security salient features from those conversations. We look at the conversations at the protocols, we detect the protocols dynamically, look into those protocols and extract features, put those extracted features into standard form, into very, very easy to manipulate fields and data records, and then extract that into a large high-speed data warehouse. That whole end-to-end technology makes it very, very easy to write security analytics into that data set because each analytic does not have to be custom-built into some high-speed processing appliance that sits on your network. So the appliance runs at line rate at all times, processing 100% of the data, and analytics are relegated to a second system or even a central system that is processing data from many, many sensors that are all running at high speeds. So you have a central view of all the data in your network, but you're able to easily scale your network as it grows to very, very high-speed data rates because each individual sensor appliance, which we call our intelligent traffic analyzer, operates sort of a fixed set of functions, and it does not grow as your set of analytics grow. So you don't have a traditional feature creep kind of problem on your sensor where it gets slower and slower and slower when you have to add more and more and more things like a signature-based appliance would. David, if I'm going to come to your session, give me some issues of magnitude in terms of how fast is this stuff in terms of data and in terms of volume. What's the difference in this environment? Just to give you a sort of an absolute measure, one of our sensor appliances, even operating on a low-speed one gigabit link, will generate about two and a half terabytes of data a day, something on the order of half a billion records, if you're looking at it in relational form. 
But if you contrast it in a more relative way with a system that's designed to do packet-based storage, if you're using, let's say, TCP dump to take your packets and throw them onto a disk and do analysis in Wireshark, this approach of taking metadata from conversations on the network is actually results in about one-twentieth the data size on disk. But more importantly, because this data is pre-processed into bite-sized chunks, into well-formed fields and values, data can be processed at about 100 times the rate of a system that's going and looking at every individual packet and reparse with every single analytic. David from Norris will be speaking at this year's Partners Conference, Next Generation Cyber Intelligence, Deep Analytics on Big IP Data. Should be a really interesting session. I encourage you to come and check it out. David, thank you so much. Thanks so much, Josh. My pleasure.